Hey, what's up everybody? Back with a, another video. And in this particular video, I want to talk about Xbox Series X and the future of Microsoft's video game console. Now, recently we had Microsoft do their presentation. They showed us a small glimpse of what they had in store for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox ecosystem. Me, personally, I wasn't too impressed. I think the only thing that I really liked was that game that they had from Rare coming out because of the art style of it. But uh, Halo, Halo didn't have the impact on me, at least, that I expected it to have. I thought Halo was going to be the game when they showed it. They were going to be like, okay, this is Halo. This is our top fr franchise. Here you go. I thought they were going to show something that would have made me say, you know what? I got to get that Xbox Series X now. But after that presentation and actually just sitting back and letting some time pass and really, really think about what they presented, not even trying to come from it like a hate no Microsoft or anything, but the overall feel is for me that, uh, nah, I will not be buying an Xbox Series X at launch. And I might not be buying a Xbox Series X even a couple of years after launch. And the main reason for that is that Microsoft is pushing this agenda that they pretty much started with back when they released the Xbox One. My everybody's going crazy about, oh, it's the DRM and all this. Basically what Microsoft is still trying to do, the same strategy that they've been trying to do for a while. They're doing it this generation, they're gonna do it next generation, is that they're trying to push that ecosystem of, of they supply the game, you can play it across different platforms and different devices. And that is, of course, Game Pass. Now, if you pick up Game Pass, it's a pretty good deal. But the only issue I have with it is that you pick up Game Pass, of course, you're going to get the Microsoft Xbox uh, Day One exclusive. You're going to get that Day One. But the thing about it is that these games are not the triple A or platform exclusives that you would expect to get like for example like you get zelda and mario from nintendo you get god of war from playstation you get horizon zero dawn you get all these other things from different platforms and microsoft is literally telling you to your face oh you don't need to buy the xbox series x so you know what I'm going to take you at your word. You told me I don't need to buy it. So guess what? I'm not going to buy it. And even if I do want to play the games, what do you do? Xbox Series X games, Xbox One games, you get Game Pass. They are literally turning gaming into a... What's the best way to put this? They're trying to turn it into like a, a literally into a gaming service kind of like well not kind of exactly like a streaming service they supply the games you get them you play them you get them at a cheaper rate but you don't actually own the games and microsoft has bought all the studios yet i have not seen anything to the fanfare that would have me like damn i gotta get this new xbox product so i can play this you literally are giving me the option that I don't need your system. So what that tells me is that they're leaning towards a straight streaming service. Of course, they're going to have that whole xCloud thing where you play on different devices. You can do this. You can do that. They literally are steering everyone towards that one go. And that presentation of Halo Infinite literally put the nail in the coffin of this is what we're trying to do. They've been trying to achieve this same agenda this whole time and they're literally getting it there. Of course you have a lot of people who are like nah I'll pass but the people who are going along with it are well hopefully enjoying the choice that they're making but from my perspective I'm starting to see it more like okay I get Gamma Pass I pay for that I play these games, download them, be able to stream them later or whatever, but I never literally own those damn games. Me, if you've actually been on this channel, you see me. I'm a physical 
I like to physically own my media. I got a Blu-ray collection that is ridiculous. I have a game collection that is ridiculous. I literally like to own all my games if I can. Now every once in a while you'll come across a game you literally cannot get a physical copy of and you have to get the digital version. So be it. But that is not my majority goal when I buy anything that I buy for me. I like to have physical copies. Now don't get me wrong. You got a lot of different services that use this or have tried this or are still trying to implement this particular service. Me, I'm a physical media guy. I like to have a physical copy. Always have, always will. Now, if gaming eventually goes down that route completely one day, that might be the moment where I have to say, you know what, it's time for me to fall back. I can't be encircled into this and trapped into this, uh, this pigeonholed way of having my services like this. Now, at the same time, I can still buy these games without getting it on Game Pass which uh, more than likely will be one of the best options I do have. But I was thinking about slowly taking some time, just leaning back and saying, hey, let me just try Game Pass out. But at this point, I really, I really don't want to because most of the games that are coming out, I'll still be able to play them on a Windows system on a PC. Be it a desktop, a gaming laptop, a gaming desktop, I'll still be able to play these games. I literally have no reason to pick up an Xbox Series X. Literally. And this presentation that they recently just had, I thought that would have been that extra little nudge. Like, you know what? Halo looks fire. I'll pick that up. Halo was literally supposed to be that game when it came out and they presented it. It was supposed to be the game that made everybody who was on the fence say, you know what, I'm jumping over and my feet are going to touch this grass on this uh, Microsoft side. And they didn't do that. It literally had the opposite effect. I know hardcore Microsoft gamers, Xbox gamers who were like, you know what, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and just go over here and uh, check out these other systems. I was like, it was people who said this. I looked at them. I was like, are you serious? You of all people. And they were like, yep, I'm done, bro. I'll catch you when that PS5 came out. And just seeing the impact from that literally had me like, damn. Like, these are people who I've known who have rolled with. It's crazy to me that this is literally the end result of this. Like, this is where they're steering everything to. So for me personally no outside influence of everybody else but me personally i'm not touching the xbox series x it's not gonna happen and especially with the old oh let's wait and see you know they say it's gonna take one to two years before they push out some exclusive titles why you should have had stuff in the pipeline with all these studios that you did buy you literally have no triple a Juggernauts coming up that we know of. Maybe they'll surprise us and pop up with something, but at this point, I don't care. You you had the opportunity to bring in more people and you're not doing that. So me personally, I'm sticking to what I know. I'll fall back on my Sony and Nintendo and just PC gaming and just roll that way. But as far as the actual execution of what Xbox is trying to do as a brand. Um, I'm not getting behind it. Will that change someday? Maybe, but as far as the next couple of years for me, as in this, in this moment right now, I don't see it changing. Because I see them pushing out games that are not AAA. They'll probably try to push more games that are like multiplayer or like smaller projects. Not like a whole lot of AAA projects that I make you say, you know what? I need the Xbox Series X in my life. Gotta have it. That's not happening. Here. With all these acquisitions of studios, I think the most we might get, we might get maybe a, a couple of uh, AAA games, of course, to try to keep that fan base satisfied and keep them coming back. But as far as like anything that they have right now that's going to actually joke me in the man, like, you know what? I need to get that system. It's not happening. 
it is literally not happening I'm not going down that path I'm gonna to stick to what I know bring them a physical media and get out of my face but that's how I feel about everything that's going on how do you all feel are you getting the Xbox Series X when it comes out or are you just gonna chill sit back and just use that game pass me at this point I'm not trying to touch either one but if you are if you truly are picking up this system and you're gonna enjoy it because just because I don't like it doesn't mean you can't like it you're a person you're your own person you're free to do whatever you want to play whatever games you want to play spend your money on what you want to spend your money on but if you are going to go down that path let's have a discussion about it let me know in the comment section what you're going to do me I'm not touching it I just really I, I, I just really said that I was like okay this is gonna be the chance to show me something and then when you showed one of your biggest franchises you really it I literally watched it and I felt no way about it like I I didn't hate it and I didn't love it like and I didn't feel moved towards it like oh yeah I gotta get that or I had no feelings about it like as far as like oh I gotta play it no I don't have to play it I just don't. Well, that's how I feel about it. But uh, otherwise than that, like I said, comment below and let me know how you feel about uh, what's been going on with Microsoft lately and the future that they're steering towards. Because a lot of people are like, no, they wouldn't do that. Yes, they will. That's why they acquired all those little AA studios and everything else that they did just so they can have a way to push out content put it on that game pass but not deliver as many AAA experiences just good enough experiences and like multiplayer games like I'm sorry multiplayer is good and all but I need that that good single player experience and then they're saying that they're gonna take Halo Infinite and try to go like down that uh keep it going road where they don't make a sequel they just keep doing add-ons to it like kind of like Destiny and I don't like that either so uh I definitely don't think I will be uh, touching Halo in any uh, shape, form, or fashion in what's being created with. Might try out that multiplayer, but <laughs> otherwise than that, I'm done. I think I'm going to just stick to what I know. But, like I said, comment below and uh, let me know what you think. And let's keep it uh, cordial again, uh, in the comment section. I don't need to see anybody bickering. If you can't express yourself intelligently, and don't waste your time expressing yourself in the comment section. Have some tack about it. Be respectful. Now, if you get disrespected, hey, have at it. Do what you got to do. But that's going to be it for this one. I will catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.